Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use um, skin scent mods in Weathering Waves. Now first of all, um, go ahead and click on that link in the description section. It should open this um, Spectrum's VVMI, Weathering Waves model importer. Now uh, open the releases page on a new tab and then download the latest version okay vvmi for mothers click on it okay now we can uh, close this page now down below you will see this link to python click on it oh never mind open it on a, in a new page in a new tab then download the latest version Okay, when you're done with downloading it, you can close this page. And in your downloads folder, you should have these two. So um, go ahead and launch this Python installer. Uh, click on add Python to path, use admin privileges and install now. Okay, setup was successful. Now close it. Now we can delete it because we don't need it anymore. Now, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and create a folder or Wait a second. Okay, we actually have it. Um, place this folder, extract this folder to one of your drives, not in your desktop and not in your OneDrive, okay? Anywhere else, but not inside OneDrive and desktop. So I have a shortcut here. I'm going to place it in here. Okay. Now I can delete this too. Um, I'm going to rename this. Okay. Now open up your Wumi. VVMI, you need to open your Withering Waves game folder. You need to know where that is, okay? If you did not change the installation path, it should be um, where your launcher is. So right click on your launcher, open file location, and when you scroll up, you should be able to see Withering Waves game folder. Click on it, click on client, on saved, config, Windows no editor, and engine.ini. If you can't open it, right click on it, open with notepad. When you scroll down to bottom, um, go back to the uh, GitHub page and click on this button here, okay? That will copy this code. Now paste it here by clicking, by pressing Ctrl and V at the same time. Then Ctrl and S to save and close. Now what you need to do is go back to Wearing Waves game, client, binaries, Windows 64. And if you are on Windows 11, you can right click. If you are on Windows 10, like me, hold shift and right click. Then you can um, click on copy as path. Okay, now we can close this. You don't need it anymore. Open up D3DX. And inside the loader section, uh, you need to find the launch. Okay, I'm going to delete this. And then Ctrl and V to paste it. To paste the path that we have copied. Delete these, um, whatever they are called, delete them. Okay. Then Ctrl and S to save the file and close it. Okay, so now you are done with your VVMI. You need mods, but before that, um, you need to go to your graphics, graphics settings. However, if you are using an another language and if you don't know how to find this, click on your Windows icon, go to settings, system, display, and it should be the one on the bottom. Graphics settings, click on it. If this is enabled, disable it and restart your PC, okay? I'm not going to do that because it's already disabled, so I don't need to restart. What you need to do now is to... You can close this page, by the way. We did everything. Yep, we did everything. You need to go to Game Banana. Um, this is the page where you can find the mods and stuff, so I'm going to search for some skins now. Yep. Looks nice. Okay, Rover Personal Recolor. Okay, yeah, this looks nice. Okay, here we have three examples. By the way, I recommend you to check the uh, description section because they might be um, mentioning something important. Like here, for example, AMD users may not be able to use my mod and etc. Some some of them have their uh, toggle keys here. 
they can mention some important stuff sometimes. Okay, so when you're done downloading them, go ahead and open your uh, VVMI and go to your mods folder. Now what you need to do is extract all of your skins and mods inside your mods folder. So just like this. Sometimes, sometimes, as I said, you will be seeing something like this instead, okay? They won't be inside one folder. In that case, just create a folder yourself and put them inside the folder that you have created, okay? Just don't um, extract them all inside this mods folder like this. That's um, That might break some stuff. Okay, now we have everything. We are ready to go. Now, what you need to do is, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, you might want to create a shortcut of your VVMI loader. I'm going to name this Vumi, of course, and I'm going to extract it. I mean, move it to my desktop. So whenever you want to use skins in Withering Waves, this is what you need to do. Right click on it. Actually, you don't have to just click on it. Click on yes and um, launch your game. Wait, I think it launches by itself. Oh, oh, how nice. Man, I wish Genshin, uh, Jimmy and um, Asara Mai will do this too. Okay, that's nice. You don't have to do anything. You just click on that one instead of your launcher. That's nice. Is it bugged? Uh, as you can see, we have the rover. My F10 is not working. Ah, okay now. Okay, and as you can see, rover was working. Engine C doesn't have her um, leggings. Yin Lin also doesn't have her skirt, I guess. I don't know. What changed? If you want to, by the way, disable a mod, you can simply go to your mods folder. Okay, I just noticed that I have um, two Gen C mods. So I disabled one of them. This is what you need to do um, to disable them, by the way. Just add disabled in uppercase and add this, whatever this is called. Okay, let's use this one instead as an example. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, all the skins are working correctly. If you encounter any errors, um, you can create a thread inside the 3D Migoto um, support channel in our Discord. Other than that, please don't ask in YouTube comment section because I cannot help there. It's a pain. And yeah, that's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.